Hey guys, Armageddon's here, I'm bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the brand new Hobbit action figures uh, from the upcoming movie. Um, I'm very excited about the Hobbit, I, I love the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, you know, I didn't really get into the I didn't really get into the Hobbit book very much, uh, but this movie just looks very, very stunning. I really do think it looks like it's going to be a good movie. Uh, and and these figures, uh, these three and three quarter inch figures, and uh, even the six inch figures, they look really nice. Uh, and today we're going to be taking a look at Thorin Oakenshield, uh, who I'm not very familiar with. I do believe they, if I can remember correctly, they do mention him a couple of times in. Uh, the original trilogy, uh, at least in the first movie, uh, but he's obviously a, a dwarf prince. Uh, very cool picture, you know. Very cool. Uh, he he is he's just a very nice looking figure. Uh, here's the here, let's see. There's there's you can see some of the other figures in the line, and I, I do have these. I'll review these uh, individually. Um, but here's the read up for for Thorin. Uh, As a young dwarf prince, Thorin witnessed the destruction and terror wrought when a great fire-breathing dragon attacked the dwarf kingdom of Erebor. And I'm probably going to mispronounce these a lot. <laughs> uh, when no one came to the aid of the surviving dwarves, a once proud and noble race was forced to exile. Now, as the strong, fearless fighter and respected leader of the company of dwarves, Thorin is determined to reclaim his homeland and destroy the beast that brought such misery upon his people. So very cool uh, kind of read up there. Uh, I really do like that. Uh, just and and the packaging on these on these three and three quarter inch figures is really nice. I, I love uh, there's this molded in detail here around the edges. It's real nice, beautiful picture. I just I really love these packages. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. And here we have Thorin, uh, who I'm I'm very eager to see what he's like in the movie, uh, as with most of the other people. But but I am really finding myself enjoying these three and three quarter inch figures. Uh, there are a few downsides to them. Uh, a couple of the ones that I have, there, there's a good bit of... There's there's one glaring problem with most of these figures. I can't say all of them, but most of them. And that is uh, their stability. Um, th um, a lot of them are very, very hard to get standing. And, and this guy actually stands okay. But people like Legolas and Tariel, especially Tariel, she cannot, I mean, you have to really, really position her. You have to be real good with your fingers to get her position good. And and Thorin's not too bad here because his clothing is is a, a softer plastic, so it can kind of bend a little bit more. But uh, some of the other figures, they're just, they're very hard plastic, and it's hard to manipulate their hips to get them to be able to stand. But the amount of detail that's in in these figures is outstanding. I know that my camera won't pick up a lot of it, but just a lot of detail. I, I love his belt buckle here. I love how the chain mail and all, all the you can see all the links in his chain mail. Uh, he, he's just got this nice. I mean, you can even see the gray bits that are even in his hair. Just a little bits of gray hair. Very nice. His boots are really nice. I just you know I, I really do. I, I love the amount of detail that's in this guy. Uh, as for his accessories. He comes with, uh, there's a peg right here on his back, and he comes with this this sword, and, and it's in his sheath, obviously. Uh, it, it looks to be an elvish sword. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what this sword, why a dwarf has an elvish sword, but, you know, hopefully that'll explain a little bit of that in the movie. But it is nice. Even, the, even this sheath has just amazing detail on it. Uh, one major downfall is I don't know why this slit is right here on the sheath and it makes it makes the sword very loose uh, it will it's not gonna come out right now but it, it does fall out regularly for me uh, of course it's not gonna do it right now but uh, so th that's that's fairly loose I wish they would have could have found a way to just close that up right there but it just fits on his back it fits in there fairly nicely because of his his hair uh, it does get moved a lot but that's no that's not too bad uh, one, the, one of the best parts is 
is this little dagger, this little, I guess this would be a dagger or just a little or sword, but it, it just pops out of this sheath and it fits in there very tightly. I love that the sheath is, is all one piece like this, it just fits on his hip. Uh, it, it is very nice and, and again, just like the Elvish sword, this sword is, is very well detailed. I know it's not going to pick it up very good, but it does have a lot of a lot of really nice, you know, just subtle molded details in it. And it just, again, it's very tight. It just fits in there. Give it a little push. Um, w one of the, and, and then he comes with this, and and I'm really not sure what this is. I don't know if it's some kind of uh, maybe a shield or some kind of buckler maybe that that he hits with. But the the problem is is the peg hole is not deep enough and this peg is not long enough and and it just you can just barely get it in there and I mean just the littlest touch will knock it out it's very hard to keep it in that hole uh, I may actually put a small drop of super glue in there see it just it falls off it all the time I may put a small drop of super glue in there to keep it on but it does look very nice on there I'm, I'm eager to see how he uses this in the movie just an overall, you know, he's a dwarf, so he's he's smaller. Uh, he, he's obviously going to be taller than a hobbit, but he's smaller than the characters like Legolas and Tariel and, you know, maybe some of the orcs. And Gandalf, of course, is he's going to be smaller than Gandalf. Uh, but this really, uh, I, I haven't run across the Goblin King yet, and, and I did run across this guy. I bought him individually, as you saw from the packaging, and I did want to try to hold out... And, to see if I could find the Goblin King, but I never, you know, I never did, and I don't, the, the price online is too ridiculous right now, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy it like that, so if I run across the Goblin King, I'll just, I'll have two of these guys, I'll just deal with it, but overall, a very good character for the price range, $9.99, very good deal, uh, most of these figures are coming in two packs, uh, like I said, Thorin and the Goblin King, and you get Legolas and Tariel, Bilbo and Gollum, uh, one of my favorites is uh, Thimble and, and the Warg that he comes with very good pack uh, Gandalf and, and Bolg and, and you get the two packs for, for roughly $14.99 or you can get a single figure for $9.99 it's a very good deal to go ahead and buy the two packs uh, but I, I'm, I'm very eager to see these figures and I do, again I do love the 6 inch figures I'll be reviewing those a little bit later when I finish with the 3 and 3 quarters but very good uh, just very exciting figures um, I'm just you know it, it's getting me really excited about the movie and I can't wait uh, to see about how good that is as for the articulation for him uh, his head is on a ball joint a very small one but because and it's this way with a lot of the characters because almost all of them have long hair their hair is such a hard plastic that you can't move it a whole lot and then you have stuff like their sheaths in the way so the head, you can't really move a lot. The arms are on socketed and, and ball joints, and you can move them a little bit. You can move them in and out, and they bend at the elbow, and he rotates at the wrist. But his clothes, again, they're a harder plastic, so it, it, it's really hard. It's really hard to get these guys in, in poses. The six-inch figures are, are much easier. These guys, I tend to just, you know, kind of keep... In a, in a standing pose, you know, usually with like a weapon out, we'll go ahead and, and see everything just falls on, it falls off of them, and, and that's really disappointing, uh, because it, it, it just, it disappoints me that you can't ever get anything to stay on him, uh, unless he's just staying completely still, so if you take him off and move him, everything kind of falls off of him, and it's like that with a lot of the figures, Legolas's bow, I can never get to stay in his hands, there we go again. I'm just going to leave his sheath off. Try to get this thing back on there. So, I mean, you, I mean he looks pretty cool, kind of like that. Maybe you can rotate his head a little bit. Overall, you know, again, not a bad figure. I, I do recommend, uh, if you're a Rings fan, definitely pick up some of these figures for the price. They're not bad. And even the 6-inch figures for 15 bucks a piece, they're not bad either. Uh... But this has been Armageddon with another video review. Uh, this is the the Hobbit three and three quarter inch action figures, uh, Thorin Oakenshield. Thanks for watching.